Well, I think the biggest uh, um, noticeable change was that they became more and more like citizens. As time went on, uh, they became more helpful to each other. They uh, abided by the rules of the community. If they didn't abide by them, uh, then they were punished, in term typically in terms of, of not paying them for a week's salary or this sort of thing. Uh, they weren't hurt in any way, except that they wanted the money, and that kept them uh, pretty much working. Uh, the, the leaders became better leaders, and the grant that I had to establish the Lodge Society and look at it for a longitudinal period of time uh, finally came to the point where it was about to end. Now, by this time, we knew that compared to the people who wanted to come to the Lodge who couldn't come because they were in the control condition. Okay. Uh, and we did tell them that when the uh, grant money was over, ran out, they could make arrangements with the Lodge Society members themselves to come in if, if they wanted to have them come in. And, but it became very clear that the return rate among the Lodge Society members was over five years period of time, no more than 25% of them had ever been back in the hospital for any time, which meant that 75% never came back to the hospital, and 25% came back, but of those 25%, almost all of them came back to the Lodge Society. So, so actually it meant a couple of hospitalizations before they finally made their adjustment. On the other side of the fence in the control group, there were no employed persons. They went out into the community, but they were back in the hospital on an average of about three months. And now we have to remember that these were long-term mentally ill people, so that their coming back quickly was sort of expected. If, if they couldn't find work or whatever. And their return interviews showed that almost all of them had never gotten any help in terms of finding employment or in terms of finding people that they could associate with in the community. And that led me all the more to the conclusion that not only does it keep it out, them out of the hospital, but it gives them a better life because now they have friends they have people that they can get along with and so on. About that time, it became time for the Lodge Society to close, according to our grant agreement with the National Institutes of Mental Health. And so I announced one day that they were leaving, we were closing the Lodge, but if they wanted to, I and our friends in the hospital and so on, and the professional staff would help find them a place where they could rent a, uh, a place they could live in. And that worked. They went out and they found a house and they rented the house and then they rented another house about a month later when they found out more people wanted to come out than they had thought would. So roughly 75% of the people who were in the Lodge Society went to those houses because they said it was a much nicer place for them to live than just going out in the community and, and having no help from anyone. And then they, they established, uh, I had an agreement with them that after I would come out at the end of six months, and then at the end of the six months interview, uh, they would agree, if, if they would, that I'd see them, see them in another six months. So at the end of a year community follow-up, then I would not bother them anymore. And they agreed to that. So I went out in six months and both of a year. And the story was very much the same. They'd carried on their business. They'd expanded a little. They had uh, one or two people who left, but they left with their, with, their, with their agreement that they should go because they wanted to go and get into their own business. Uh, and all in all, contrasted with the control condition where they almost always gone back to the hospital in a very short period of time, there was virtually no comparison in terms of follow-up or actual uh, cooperative behavior. So in a way, we concluded that the Lodge Society was a great help 
in helping these people get back into the community, organizing themselves so that they could do something meaningful and worthwhile, and also in helping their fellows get along in life. Uh, so we uh, contacted Washington, D.C. and showed them the results of our study, and they asked if we wouldn't try to implement it uh, across the nation to any interested people. And it was in one of those journeys early on at that time that uh, people came down here and started and helped uh, with advice and consultation the people in your local area uh, start the Lodge Society.